Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, we are going to learn how do you calculate average salary from each department. Let me show you the video agenda. We will learn how can you calculate average salary per department and here is your input table. In this input table, if you see, there are multiple departments like IT, HR, Finance, IT, HR and there are multiple salaries. So you have to write a link query which can find the output something like this. So for IT, if you calculate the average 40,000, 15,000, which is 55,000 divided by 2. So 27,500. Like that, it is calculating average for each of the department. How will you write the link query? It is quite easy if you continue to stay entirely in this video, I am going to teach you. The very first thing, let me show you the data table. So this is the data table which contains all my data are shown in the picture and it is there in this seat number five. As usual, I am reading that in this particular and storing inside a variable called DT. Okay, so I'm reading it. Finally, after I create, uh, you know, create the link query, I'm going to write it to this particular. I'm writing that output DT variable into the Excel file in sheet number seven. Okay, so this is in out. I mean, where you will get the data, where you will write. But in between, how will you create the link query is important. Now, the very first step to do this, you first build a data table because when you apply the filter and you are going to calculate the average salary, you will have two different things as output. One is your department, one is your average salary. So this should be our, you know, I have built a simple data table, blank data table, and then I am going to store this to a variable called output dt. Okay, output dt is a data table variable. Now let's see how do you write the query. I'm going to click on this and start writing the query. So you know where your data table is there. The variable name is dt. Then you write as enumerable. Let's do in this. We have learned something in the group and some method together in the previous video, right? Let's use that. So I'm saying from row in dt i'm going to iterate through the dt i'm using the query syntax now here because when when such complex things are coming now query syntax is more helpful so i'm using a query syntax here from row in dt and then i will use group by because you have to group them so group row by the key what is the key here row Department is the key, right? IT, HR, these are the key values. So where they exist, they exist in department. So you say row department dot to string dot trim. So you're trimming. So you are saying you group them by the key. And what is the key value? Key is a variable. The key value is this. You get it from the department. So whichever the unique values are there inside the department column, all these unique values becomes the key. Okay, so it has got the key. After getting the key, it has to group. So I will say into keep the grouping, the output, you keep it in the GRP variable and write the method group. Okay, after you do this, we have, I have explained everything in detail in the group and sum method. Okay, in case you are not able to understand this, you want detailed explanation. I have already spent time on that video, so please do watch it. Okay, so here I am simply saying let x, I am creating an object if you remember and then here I will be passing two things, one is the key and the group. Okay, I am passing the key variable and passing the key. So key contains IT, HR, finance and the group would have all the data tables, all the data rows. Now here I have to have average of what the salary column. So I will say average of salary column. So how would you get the salary column by writing a lambda function? So it's a function x and then x and within that I'll put the salary column and then I'll convert this to integer first so that it can calculate the average and then at the end you need to write two string. Okay, so your x object is done. Now you have created a variable you remember output dt and you have built two different columns in that. I'm going to use that and simply say rows dot add and adding the object. So your code is done. At the end, all you have to do, put a parenthesis in the beginning, 
put the parenthesis at the end and simply say copy to data table okay done now let's save it all right so once your code is done that will come to output it and here it is going to write that too so let me put some annotation write output dt to excel sheet 7 okay that's it so here we are writing now if i run this code let us see if anything is there in the sheet 7 it's completely blank let me save it and let us run it okay so the execution is complete now if i go back in the sheet 7 you can see it has calculated the average salary per department so for it the average salary is 27500 for hr 17500 for finance it's 30000 okay so it has calculated the average we got what is needed from the code so let me copy the code to my notepad and i'm going to pass it in the video description so thank you guys for watching. Do not forget to like all the videos that you're watching on my channel and do subscribe to my channel because we are coming up with a lot of new learnings which you may or may not find it outside. So please do subscribe to my channel. Let's meet once again in our next video. Thank you.